Vanessa takes off the fat suit. I still remember every single hurtful thing that was said to me. The eye-opening results next. Continues our undercover series now, following 125-pound Vanessa Manillo in the streets of New York, disguised as a 350-pound woman. Tonight, Vanessa takes off her fat suit, and Vanessa, I understand the responses to the real you were quite different. Well, Mark, I gotta be honest, I feel pretty lucky because strangers have always been pretty nice to me, especially in New York, but I never really appreciated how kind they were until I put on the fat suit and saw how cruel people could really be. So, does size really matter? Walking around New York's Fifth Avenue and Central Park, would I be treated differently at 125 pounds than I was in this 350 pound fat suit? Excuse me, I know you're working and I'm sorry. How do I get to Third Avenue from here? Oh, you're near across the park. Um, I can walk there though, I don't need to take like a, a, a cab or a bus. No, it's a little bit of a walk, but you know, I would just kind of run through here. Okay. No, it's not that far. Okay, thank you. He was like, oh, it's walkable yeah. to Third Avenue and the other day. I was like, you need to take a bus. That's right, wearing the fat suit, it was as if the walk was too much for me to handle. But hey, at least this guy stopped to help me out. I got plenty of gawks and stares, but some people wouldn't even give me the time of day. It's really amazing how obvious people are about it. In terms of, I'm the same person on the inside. I was asking for directions and asking for help the same way in the suit as I would right now. And people were completely treating me like night and day. I said, hey, how do you get to Saks Fifth Avenue? I don't know. Today. Excuse me, you know how to get to Saks Fifth Avenue? You or do you know where? Here. Okay. Heck, I even got an offer for a lunch date. I'll go hey, in there. For lunch. You want to go to lunch? Yeah. What time? No. <laughs> Maybe later. When I was in the suit on the subway, not only was I looked at with disgust, but pushed completely out of the way. I was stared at on the subway. Today, a guy wanted me to listen to his music. I almost fell over, he helped me up. I still remember every single hurtful thing that was said to me, even though I took the suit off. I have to admit, the experience was tough, but I agreed to don the suit, crafted by Robert Hall of the special effects company Almost Human, for one very important reason. I've been discriminated against. Growing up in Charleston, South Carolina, I was the dark-haired, dark-skinned girl. It's amazing to me that uh, me being ethnic and somebody being overweight, we have the same prejudices. The reactions to the big me and the regular me were amazing.